Okay, we're going to get into a little bit more complex programming and some hardware devices as well. So I'm going to use the standard Arduino Uno. And if you're not into Arduino, you can obviously read about it on the website. And uh, I'm going to use a shield with it. Okay, that's the Ethernet shield that you can use. Uh, there's several Ethernet shields. Uh, I'm using the one that the, the older one that has the 5100 chip, not the 5500 chip. But in any case, the library is pretty much the same as far as that's concerned. Um, if you're not into Arduino, it's a really good format to get into. Very, very simple to program and get things done, all pretty much free as far as the software is concerned. And I basically have a uh, shield like this right, right here, down here. I've connected a couple other bits to it. There's an Ethernet cable connected to it and the USB cable. The USB is powering it. The Ethernet is connected to my router and um, where the UI is as well. So once you've connected it up, it's quite straightforward. Let's get into some programming. Okay. This is the um, standard Arduino system here. Uh, and this is a sketch that I've set up. It's based on the original sketch that Tom Ego did, which is basically called Web Client. And I've modified it so it runs on the UI things to consider. This is a MAC address. You can put anything you want there in reality. And uh, if you know the MAC address of your module, then write it down. If you don't know it, then uh, don't write it down Then change it as far as that's concerned. Um, this is the IP address here of the UI24. I've marked that there. Sorry about that. UI my UI24. Uh, if I'd use a uh, Wi-Fi, for example, and you don't know the IP, you could run it with the name server if you wanted to as well. Uh, I've set the IP address of the actual Arduino here, although it's set to DHCP, but if DHCP fails, at least it gets an IP address. And remember, they're all in the same area, 192.168.0.192.168.0. These are commas here, not dots. That's how it works. We are connecting to port 80 HTTP, so we didn't have to change that as far as that's concerned. What we're going to do then is uh, just assign some variables. And if you've got a few different modules to connect to, use these paths. Uh, there's different shields connect to the um, Arduino. I've changed it to 57600 speed here because we need the faster speed. And I'll just uh, make sure that you have, uh, you see the uh, actual COM3 open there. That's good. Very important to see the serial command in a minute. I'll show you why. And then we're going to connect up. There's some initialization data here, uh, but we don't have Ethernet hardware, etc. And then we connect to the MAC IP DNS. If we know it, that comes from the information before. We connect to the server. Uh, if it connects to 80, everything is good. We keep going. The client print ID here, this is the important thing. We're telling the mixer that we're connecting to, to give us the data. What happens with the UI mixers is when you first connect, it sends out all the state of the mixer. That's how the GUI starts up, really. It needs to know what the mixer is doing. So all the parameters are getting sent, and you'll see that in a second. So I've set up a buffer here, 512 bytes. And that'll read it off the server and that'll print the buffer out. Basically, this is all this program is doing. It's connecting and printing it out. So once we upload it, and I've uploaded it already, um, but I'll upload it again. So it starts up again. Then you can see exactly what's happening here. I'll make sure it's clear there. Okay. So it's uploading, compiling the sketch. Everything is cool. Uh, and then it will upload the sketch to the Arduino. That looks good. And then the um, serial command will start. As you'll see on the screen, it changes color, um, initialize Ethernet DHCP, and suddenly it'll bring up all the parameters that are there on the UI. And that's one way of seeing all the parameters in one go. And then you can start playing around with things and how they are and what they are and what they're doing. And um, we'll wait a moment because there's a lot of parameters on the this digital mixer. There's a lot of parameters, but you'll be able to at least see 
uh, all of them and scroll them. And you could do that the same in the same way with the actual uh, Python code that we showed before. Uh, and then we can scroll back if you want to and see all the commands. Uh, so that's your RTA, the setting the instruments, every parameter that you see on the screen is coming up here. And in the same way, if you want to send a parameter, you just grab that parameter and you can send that parameter back in a text format. Remember, new line after each one. So this is lesson number one. We are getting started with Arduino. We added a shield to it. We put on some code, as you could see. And I'm going to put everything up on GitHub here. So github.com, Daniel Esch, slash UI control in this particular thing. And I'll put a link in there as well. All the code will be available on GitHub. And um, next video, we'll show you how to connect a pin and control something.